A new poll released by Oklahoma's largest teachers union shows Oklahomans are overwhelmingly against school vouchers. Governor Kevin Stitt wants to set aside $130 million to create an education savings account, another term for vouchers. I talked to opponents about their concerns and State Superintendent Ryan Walters, who supports the proposal. Right back. Jamie Rogers is a union parent of two who considered private school at one time for her kids, but she's frustrated with the governor's proposed plan to use public money to give to parents for tuition. We need to have a thriving education system for um, our society to be able to succeed. The $130 million budget plan includes giving parents at least $5,000 per child to use for tuition. That's based on estimates on the percentage of families that would use vouchers being 5 to 10%. The amount wouldn't cover tuition for the vast majority of private schools in the Tulsa metro. Tuitions range from $7,700 to $23,000 a year, in addition to other fees and transportation. I don't believe that the majority of these kids are even going to have that opportunity to be able to go to a private school, even with the vouchers. 74% of Oklahomans oppose using taxpayer dollars for private school tuition, according to a new poll released by the Oklahoma Education Coalition. I don't care what name you give it. Whether you call it a voucher, whether you call it an education savings account, whether you call it put a bow on it, I don't care. It is taking public funds away. I think that is an absolute laughable poll that the radical left wing teachers union has put out there because guess what? We just had two really great polls on school choice. My election and the governor's election. We ran on school choice. We talked about it in all 77 counties. Catherine Bishop, president of Oklahoma Education Association, says the poll was done by the same group Republican Senator James Lankford uses. She says it also shows parents want more focus on competitive pay for teachers. State Superintendent Ryan Walters says constituents are demanding school choice. He says he's ensured several public school superintendents that the plan does not put public school funding in jeopardy. A similar school voucher bill failed in last year's legislative session due to a lack of support from rural lawmakers. Walter says he's confident there will be more support from the legislature moving forward.